Welcome back to another episode of Baloo's Tech How To's. Today we're jumping right back into StreamerBot and I am so excited. Uh, we're going to be jumping into actions, doing commands, channel points, and creating a little bit of automation. So I'm super excited to start working more with this program. Expect to see a lot of StreamerBot videos here on the channel. So let's get right on into it. I'm looking forward to this one. Let's do it. I'm going to have a lot in here already because I've already created lots of things for you guys on the stream. Um, we've uh, played around with a bunch of different stuff. We've created our own things. We've uh, we've taken in some uh, some programs uh, from other people to implement into the streams as well. Um, but it's all about just uh, using your imagination. The sky is really the limit here. Um, but the actions on the left, those are going to be just the, the title of the action you want to run. The sub actions on the right are going to be the actual nitty gritty step-by-step uh, -step instructions that are going to happen when you run the action. So on the left hand side under the actions tab, you're going to want to right click and click add. That's going to pull up this box here. Now you get to name your action. So we're just going to call this one Trisket because I just first off have uh, something to kind of show you just in terms of even just turning filters on and off within OBS. So we're going to call this one Trisket. You can add it to a group if you'd like. Um, when you're just starting, you just type in the group. So we'll just call this pet pictures. And we'll just leave the queue as default for right now. So we're gonna hit okay. That's gonna create our uh, pet pictures subcategory here. And we got our Trisket action. Now you wanna come over to your sub actions. Now you see that it's blank. Right now, if we ran the action Trisket, nothing would happen. But what we're gonna do is right click and we want to add an action. Now you get all of these different options. So when I mentioned that sky's the limit, you really have a lot of different options. And if you know coding, you can actually input your own code into StreamerBot to create a certain sequence of events. So really the sky is the limit. So have fun, get creative, and you can really make StreamerBot do whatever it is you want it to do. But in this instance, we're gonna go down to OBS. Now, as you can see here, we get this drop down menu. We're going to turn on an source visibility state. So it's this guy right here. And we're gonna click on source visibility state. So make sure that your connection is set correctly. We will want to make sure the scene is right and the source. So it's kind of already set because it is the first source on the list and we're already on this scene as we're recording but the state we're gonna wanna go is visible, hidden, or toggle. So we're gonna just hit toggle right now. So we're gonna hit okay, and that creates our sub action. So now, as you can see, we've got the Trisket action with the OBS source state visibility as our sub action. Now, in order to trigger this, we have a few different options. So what we can do is we can either create a command, a channel point, or even do voice control. Now, again, just because we're doing the one simple action today, I'm just gonna show you how to do it all. So commands first, you're gonna wanna right click, hit add, and it's gonna pull up this box here. So with your commands, basic is probably where you're gonna wanna start, but you just put in whatever you want the command to be. So we're just gonna do exclamation point Trisket. And so Trisket, for those of you that don't know, I should explain, <laughs> Trisket is our cat. So you're gonna to get to see a, a picture of our kit, a little kitten here coming up very shortly. Um, but uh, she's a sweet old gal, she's our rescue, uh, and we love her to pieces. So we'll get a picture up on screen here for you shortly. Um, but exclamation point Trisket is what we're gonna use. Um, again, you can put it in a group if you want, and you just wanna choose the action. So again, we're gonna come down here because we uh, said it was pet pictures, Trisket, and we're gonna hit select. So now the action is selected. You can really customize this as well um, by putting the location. So right now this command is only gonna run if exclamation point Trisket is at the start of the sentence or the chat message. You can make it exact where it's only exclamation point Trisket. It won't run if there's anything else in the message or anywhere. So it could be at any point in the message. 
You can also uh, make it so that it's enabled or disabled, so you can actually toggle these commands on and off if you want them to only be available for certain streams. You've got a few other, uh, few other things that you can look at here, as well as a cooldown message. So for example, if you, uh, if you want this to be on a cooldown, so it can only be run every two minutes, when it's not avail available to be used, you can actually have a cooldown action, whether that's another image or a chat message or whatever it may be, just to let uh, your viewers know that it is on a cooldown. Next up, you have your permissions. So your permissions here, uh, you have group permissions and user permissions. If there's nothing in the allowed box, that means everyone can use it. If you only want certain groups of people to be able to use the command, then you just want to make sure you hit these arrows to put them in the allowed section. So now only moderators are allowed to use the exclamation point Triscuit. But we want this to be available to everybody. So we're going to slide that back over. And again, you could go to user permissions as well and choose from anybody who's been through your stream at any point. Once you've got that all set up to your satisfaction, just hit OK. And you're now going to see the Triscuit command. So if we go into our stream chat here, which I'll just pull right up over here for you guys. We're just gonna do exclamation point Triscuit. And there you go. So that's our that's our cat Triscuit. She's a little sweetheart. Um, she's a, a long haired cat. We don't know what breed, but she's about 15 years old. We love her to pieces. But because we have it on toggle, what we're gonna do is if we put exclamation point Triscuit again, the source will turn off. So you can set that to be whatever you want it to do. There's delays, um, and then you can toggle it on and off on its own. So you wouldn't have to do that message twice. So we're going to build that out for you. So you're going to want to come back up over to actions, and you're going to make sure that Triscuit is selected, and you're going to have the sub actions here. So now we are going to want to amend this one because we're going to want to make it so that it turns it on. Because standard is going to be off, because you only want this to pop up when someone runs the command. So we're going to hit OK. We want to make sure that it's visible. And then we're going to create a delay. Now this delay is going to create the pause where it's on for your viewers to see before we turn it off again. So say we just want it on for five seconds. This is in milliseconds. So make sure that you put 5000 milliseconds in. You can make it random if you'd like and then hit OK. Now you're going to see on and then 5000 or 5000 millisecond or five second delay. You can create a new action by doing it this way, or I like to just duplicate, double click, and you're going to open this up again. And we're just going to change this now to hidden. Saves you from changing the scene and the source again if it's the same thing. If you're more comfortable, right click, add, and just add the action again. Now we're going to hit OK. So when you've got this built out, you're going to turn Triscuit on. You're going to wait for five seconds and then you're going to turn it off. So why don't we try that? So let's pull our chat back up here again fast. I can find it. There it is. I need to slide it off the screen. So we'll put this guy back here. And if we do exclamation point Triscuit, there we go. And after about five seconds here, it should shut off again and then be ready to use. So there we go. Now that's all automation. So what we've created there in just a few short minutes is something for your chat to interact with and use that you don't have to touch. So as the streamer, you've put in the effort off stream to create this, but during your live stream, you're not pressing buttons. You don't have to scramble to find something. This is all done automatically, which is awesome creates a lot more opportunity for making a lot of fun changes, movements, GIFs, images, whatever it may be to show up on your screen and elicit a laugh, elicit a smile, create more of a fun and interactive environment for your viewers. We're going to go back up and we're going to go into channel point rewards now. So this one gets a little tricky in the sense that all of your previous channel point rewards that you may have created via your creator dashboard are going to show up in blue. So what that means is that StreamerBot cannot control them. So this owned line refers to whether or not the channel point redemption was created within StreamerBot. If it wasn't, it's going to show up blue and say no. That means you can't use it within StreamerBot to run an action. 
So if you wanted to keep any of these, but add a streamer bot action to it, duplicate it. So we'll just click on screamer, duplicate. You're gonna see screamer copy. If we click off, you're gonna see that the screamer copies in white. That means it's owned by streamer bot now, but now you have screamer and screamer copy. So you wanna go in and you delete it from streamer bot, but you also have to go into your creator dashboard and remove it from your creator dashboard as well. Now you can go in and you can take the copy out and you have an action that you can use within streamer bot. But say we just want to create one, delete that guy there. Say we just want to uh, create one from scratch. So again, you're just going to right click and hit add. That's going to bring up this box here. So it's got everything that you could possibly do from your creator dashboard built right in here into streamer bot. So we want to create a title. We're just going to call this one Triscuit. We'll just leave it at one point right now and make sure that it's enabled. User input required makes the, uh, the viewer who's redeeming it put in some kind of text. So if they're making them choose between something or tell you what they want in regards to a channel point uh, redemption, make sure you click this box and it'll allow them to input that information. The prompt is the little description that you can give when they click on that one redemption out of all your other ones. So it'll tell you a little bit more about the redemption. So be like, picture of my cat. You can change the background color and then you can also set the maximum number as well as a cooldown that it can be used per stream. So we're just gonna leave those at zero for right now. It does also have the group and the action much like our commands. So we're gonna go into the actions and we're gonna find our pet picture. The nice thing is it is all alphabetical. So click on Triscuit and hit okay. So now you see we've got up here, we've got our Triscuit command. So we'll zoom back in there. So for one channel point, it's enabled, it's not paused, no extra options with it, and it's gonna run Triscuit. So if we pull back up our chat here, and we go into our channel point rewards, you're gonna see new and you're gonna see Triscuit. So if we zoom in here, you're gonna see Triscuit. So if we click on that and hit redeem, and there we go, Triscuit's back. So again, just as simple as that, whether you do it as a command or a channel point reward, you can create the same automations within streamer bot. And then last but not least, what I'm gonna show you here is voice control. So we're gonna connect it to the same thing again, but this is your voice. So these are actions that you can run using anything that you speak. So you wanna just make sure first you come up into the settings and you wanna make sure to auto start listen or manually start and stop it when you, uh, when you go to use it. You can create a confidence threshold as well as set your audio input device that you want it to listen to to try to accurately grab your voice in order to run these commands. There is a log that you can see. <laughs> so this is everything that has caught me saying during this video. And these are the commands. So again, you can uh, set up as many as you'd like, um, but if you just hit right click and add, we're gonna call this one. Let's see if it, uh, let's see if it catches it. We'll call it Triscuit. So the name is just the name of the command. So we're in this case, just gonna make it the same. So the command is what you need to say to activate it. The name is just the title of the action. Again, location exact, start or anywhere. Then why don't we say anywhere? And then the action is going to be pet pictures, Triscuit, select. Realize we weren't centered there, my apologies. Um, but we got the name, the command, location anywhere, and the action is Triscuit. And you can override the global confidence threshold for each individual one if you'd like, um, but we're gonna leave it as is for right now. We're gonna hit okay. And now, theoretically, if we're talking, because it was anywhere in the sentence, if we say Triscuit, it should pop up on screen. This is where you're gonna have to play with your confidence thresholds to make sure that your mic is understanding you properly. So if we say Triscuit, it's not registering. So in that case, you're gonna to have to play around with this a little bit for figuring out your voice, figuring out how it hears you, as well as, like I said, the confidence thresholds. So if you want it to be 90% confident, you have to make sure that you're speaking very clearly and very slowly. 
if you're okay with 60% confidence, it might go off more often, but it will make sure that it grabs you when, uh, when you say the words. So in this case, we're gonna just change it. We're gonna call this cat. So now the next time I say cat, it should pop up Triscuit on the screen. So if we say cat, it didn't pick it up there. So you just wanna make sure you're slow. You wanna make sure that you enunciate, but cat. 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 So you can see here that it's fairly confident that I'm saying cat. But we instead want to say cat. 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 I don't know where I'm going to cut this now, but... So because it wasn't recon <laughs> Let's just jump right in. So because it wasn't recognizing Triscuit, one thing that we want to try to do is maybe change the command. Um, but maybe we're going to just try, let's see if kitty works. So if we hit okay, now it should recognize at the start of the sentence, if we say kitty, it should go off. Now, not anywhere. So you're going to see that it didn't go off there. But if we pause for a second, make sure our sentence finishes. Kitty. Triscuit's going to show up. So the voice control is really finicky. You're going to have to really set it to your voice, how you speak, um, and make sure that you play around with the confidence thresholds to make sure that the input is getting put in correctly um, and it's not uh, going absolutely crazy, not going off with everything you say, but also going off when you want it to. Um, so the voice control can be a little, a little tricky to get set up, but it can be kind of neat to add uh, a few interesting uh, things to your stream. Um, but that pretty much covers it for an intro into streamer bot. We kind of covered the basics, how to set up an action, uh, and we're definitely going to get more in depth into this, uh, this program. I'm super excited about it. Like I said, it's one of my favorite programs to use while streaming. You can do a whole bunch of different things. We didn't really get into everything you can do today, um, but I look forward to revisiting this program quite a few times in the future. Um, so once again, thank you everyone for, uh, for hanging out, for watching the video. I do really appreciate it. If you have any uh, questions, any feedback, let me know in the comments below uh, and let me know what you'd like to see in the program because I'm more than happy to, uh, to visit a lot of different aspects of StreamerBot. Thank you so much for watching and have an excellent day.